All right, hello everyone. Um, today we're gonna take a look at configuring domain pass-through for your Citrix environment with your iGel clients. So it's pretty simple to do, and the use case is, is fairly obvious, right? So traditionally, when you log on via AD authentication and you also try to log on to your Citrix receiver, it's gonna prompt you both on the, on the AD authentication into the client, as well as again into your Citrix session. Well, what we're going to do in this video is we're going to set this up to where when I double click this, it's going to log me in automatically, right? So it's not going to prompt me again for those authentication factors. So first thing I want to do here is let's delete this old Citrix policy or profile rather, and let's update that now because I is really cool and it can do it in real time. So yes, you should see that receiver icon go away and let's log off here. And then on the IGL UMS, let's create a new profile. So we're gonna go to new profile. We'll call this Citrix pass through. I wanna do dash new since I have another one and I can differentiate it. And here we're gonna go down to sessions. We're gonna go to Citrix, Citrix storefront. Um, let's make sure we choose where we wanna be able to start that receiver icon. So I'll choose from the desktop or from the start menu. Um, for server, we're gonna choose this plus here to add our storefront server URL. Mine is called citrix.rind.local. This is just a lab environment. And my storefront store name is called store. Um, I don't need to specify a domain name because I'm doing pass through authentication. And then under login, you wanna choose this little check here and we want to choose Kerberos pass-through authentication and we want to make sure we choose use pass-through authentication there. I also want to ensure that my applications are starting on the desktop. It should be automatically actually based on the check marks we see here. Um, but lastly, the log off, I'm going to choose a few of those which should be automatically as well. So I'll choose save. So it's not actually gonna be applied to my iGel client yet. This is my iGel client here, and you'll see I have these items assigned to it. So I'll simply choose Citrix pass-through. I'm gonna drag and drop it, and again, because iGel is really cool, let's update it immediately. And what should happen now is after I log in with my AD authentication, which by the way, if you don't know how to set up AD authentication, into your IGEL clients. I did make an additional video on how to just on how to do just that. So feel free to check that video out. Uh, and what should happen here is when I double click this, it should no longer prompt me for my credentials as you just saw right there. And it single signed me in and it logged me in automatically. So pretty simple, pretty straightforward. Um, one thing I didn't mention is you may need to go to your storefront server and go to manage authentication and ensure domain pass through is selected. So I didn't test it with that unchecked, but you probably want to keep that checked if you are doing domain pass through. But pretty simple configuration. I now have my Citrix environment here. I can go ahead and type. And if you like this video, please give me a like and comments. Thanks everyone.